What's up guys, Techlip Shiro and I got some fantastic news regarding the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak and man, I know it has been a while since 9.3.5 is no longer signed but still, believe me, there is a bunch of devices that are stuck on 9.3.5 and a lot of guys who are complaining because you cannot do anything with 9.3.5. You know, it's the last firmware made for these devices and I actually got myself the iPhone 4S not only for the tutorial but I actually love this device. But yeah, this video is all about 9.3.5 and its jailbreak and everything that you need to know about this jailbreak. So let's go ahead and get started. But wait guys, before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss that jailbreak tutorial video because I'm gonna be doing this as soon as the jailbreak gets released and yeah, make sure you also enable notifications so you get notified in time and now let's begin and okay guys so I wanted to start off from the creators of this jailbreak so this one has been made by a Saigusa and also the team star so the team star I actually know this guy he is well known for those downgrade methods and he is a very credited source and this jailbreak guys is only for 30-bit devices so it means if you stayed on uh, iOS 9.3.5 on your 64-bit device this will not work because there are different kernels these are absolutely different devices like like in the uh, build and this jailbreak works with offsets so if you remember the Home Depot jailbreak for iOS 9.3.4 for 32-bit devices you will remember that it required also the some offsets uh, for those devices so which means that for every single device you need to go ahead and extract the those offsets from an IPSW meaning from the firmware so it actually needs some kind of work so it needs the team star or Saiguzo or any other person to actually dig into the firmware and extract those uh, specific uh, offsets for a specific device. You know, there are different type of devices, the GSM version, the CDMA version uh, of the iPhone, so those require different offsets uh, for those devices. So the first beta of this jailbreak will actually support the iPhone 4S, uh, the iPod Touch 5th generation and also the Team Star actually tweeted recently that it will also support the iPad 2 and iPad mini 1st generation because he was able to actually extract those offsets and yeah hopefully this will be supported in the first beta. So in the previous tweets I was able to figure out which type of jailbreak this is so Team Star actually tweeted that uh, this is gonna be the semi untethered jailbreak which means it's a uh, one-to-one uh, to the yellow 102 because you know you're gonna be having an app that you need to sideload onto your device and later you'll be able to actually open the app then click the button and this will do its job so jailbreak your phone so it's gonna be uh, built on the same type of you know uh, schema and it's gonna function just like the yellow 102 if you know what I'm talking about so it's gonna be uh, just a semi untethered jailbreak and interestingly enough Tim Star also tweeted that he will not work on the fully untethered version of this jailbreak which means you don't have to actually you know run through the app and just re jailbreak your phone it will do it automatically but someone else will so he doesn't mention who this will be but someone will actually try to make this a fully untethered jailbreak which means you don't have to do anything just click a button and you're jailbroken forever so that's gonna be really really cool yeah, and finally guys the last thing that I'm gonna say is that this jailbreak is actually not that stable for now as the team star said it works five times out of ten but in the future of course this will be improved so you don't have to actually press this jailbreak button in like 10 times or 15 times like with the yellow uh, but yeah I'm not gonna complain here thanks so much guys for that work and finally what this could mean to the jailbreak and your devices so with the jailbreak guys of course you can access lots of tweaks lots of new tweaks customize your device of course apply the look of the iOS 11 and the iOS 10 so there is unlimited possibilities with the jailbreak for your 32-bit devices and not only that you can also <laughs> a downgrade to the previous firmwares like the iOS 6 iOS 7 using some uh, software that I'm gonna show you guys in the future videos and yeah I think you guys this should be pretty much it that's everything that you need to know in terms of this jailbreak of course guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a huge thumbs up it would be so so much appreciated like always and as always guys Stay tuned for more videos and peace out.